информации. You know, the first thing that you're going to do is take your safety tether and hook it to the aft D-ring anchor point. And Ricky, and I don't know what you're talking about rocking I think you were... Oh, go ahead, Ethan. Ace one eight back with you. We want to retract what we said about rocking it back and forth. What we think will be more effective is a slow and steady, continuous force in one direction. Okay, I understand and copy. Thank you. But assuming the, the samples come down and they get checked, when is the earliest somebody could actually? Uh, while uh, it is kind of bittersweet in a way, you, you know, we, we, are, we come from a culture that is, is, uh, uh, is used to, uh, to achieving all the things we set out to achieve. Uh, we did accomplish all of the things that were critical. Uh, Tariq Malik, Space News and Space.com. And basically, uh, with the maneuver, we uh, reduced the space station's velocity uh, by about one meter per second. Uh, the effect that had on the, uh, the, the altitude of the, uh, the International Space Station is basically uh, it dropped in altitude by uh, approximately one kilometer. So uh, just a slight orbital adjustment, but it was sufficient to uh, provide us uh, clearance uh, of any debris, at least that, uh, that we know about at this time. A call from the space station Capcom, Rick Davis, a status on the uh, spacewalk activities. As you've heard, the two spacewalkers, Ricky and Arnold, Ricky Arnold and Joe Acaba, worked through a number of uh, additional attempts and troubleshooting actions uh, to try to get the UCAS deployed and in a final installed position. They uh, were unsuccessful in that, and so they are proceeding to tie down that. Closer. That's a good idea, yes. And I'm not, I'm trying to figure out the best way to uh, uh, get this around one and back down the other because it's a long distance there.